Hi guys, this is Irena and I'm glad to see you again. As you know, we finished studying the cases of nouns in Russian language. The lesson number 18 was the last one. And today I want you to do a little bit of practice that will help you understand better the material. So we'll be looking at some sentences and we'll study each sentence in detail, paying a lot of attention to the noun endings and the cases of nouns. I'll be explaining to you why should we use one case or another, okay? So let's get started. What are you doing now? Чем ты сейчас занимаешься? I'm watching a movie. Я смотрю фильм. The only noun that we have here is a movie. This noun has zero ending and we can find this word in a dictionary. And that means that we are facing to the nominative or the accusative case. What would be the question that we can ask using the context and especially our noun a movie? Film. We will ask. What am I doing now? Чем я сейчас занимаюсь? I am watching. Я смотрю. Watching what? Смотрю что? A movie. Film. So, in our sentence, we used the accusative case, because the question is what. Now, let's think about what sentence we could make up with the noun movie by putting this noun in the nominative case. It's easy. When we name something, we should use the nominative case. For example, that movie is a good one. Это хороший фильм. In this sentence, the same word movie is used in the nominative case. Now, let's repeat the previous sentence. I'm watching a movie. Я смотрю фильм. And we can also say she watches a movie. Она смотрит фильм. In both sentences, the word movie is used in the accusative case. In the first sentence, we ask, what is it? It's a movie, and that movie is a good one. We name a noun, and our noun is a movie, so we use the nominative case. In the second sentence, we ask, what am I watching? Or what does she watch? She watches a movie or I'm watching a movie. Here we ask what does she watch? This is why we should use the accusative case. It is necessary to know which question to ask in order to use the right case. All right, guys, I hope everything is clear so far. Now, let's look at the other sentences. He likes playing with his toys. Ему нравится играть со своими игрушками. Here we have the noun with a preposition с игрушками. Sometimes we add one letter to the initial preposition this is why in this case the preposition is written as so. So our noun игрушками has the ending ами. And that means that first it's a plural form and second that this is the instrumental case. Because only in the instrumental case we can find the ending ами. Now let's ask a question to the noun игрушками. It'll sound like, what does he like playing with? С чем ему нравится играть? What with? С чем? With toys. С игрушками. And here we have another proof that shows us that the noun игрушками is used in the instrumental case. 
Let's look at a sentence with the word toy, игрушка, in another case. She has a lot of toys. У нее много игрушек. Here we see the noun игрушек with the ending ek. It's a plural form. Let's ask a question to the noun. It will sound like What does she have a lot of? Чего у нее много? A lot of toys. She has a lot of toys. У нее много игрушек. We know that the genitive case use such questions as of what and of whom. And now we know that our noun игрушек is used in the genitive case. How's it going, guys? The idea here in what I'm explaining is that you could see how the noun endings and the cases of nouns may change. Of course, if you want to know how to pronounce and how to write each noun in all of the cases, you should do a lot of practice. First, you should learn some nouns, obviously. And I think that I'm gonna make some videos on that topic dedicated only to the words. But actually, I believe that learning only the words doesn't help a lot in studying any foreign language. It will only take you a lot of time. It is better to learn the whole sentences so you can understand the structure, the word order, and by doing that, you learn many words because each sentence may contain from two to, let's say, seven words. And you'll remember them more easily and those words will not get off your mind. Anyway, if you are a beginner, so first please learn some words, some popular nouns, adjectives and words. And after doing that, you can start memorizing the whole sentences, okay? Now let's continue studying other examples with the nouns and the cases. I've thought about my holidays recently. Я думала на днях о своем отпуске. The first thing that we see here is the preposition about. And as we know, this preposition is used in the prepositional case. Besides, if we look at the noun ending that is е, отпуске, will prove our thought. So the question that we can make here will be this one. What have I thought about? О чем я думала? I've thought about my holidays. Я думала об отпуске. Here we can say об отпуске instead of saying о своем, that means about my holidays. We can say just about the holidays. So in this sentence we used the prepositional case. They are explaining the rule to the boy. Они объясняют правила мальчику. The noun here is the boy, мальчику. And the ending is у. How would sound a question? Who are they explaining the rule to? Кому они объясняют правила? We know that the dative case responds to the questions to whom and what to. And the noun ending u indicates that we are dealing with the dative case. Who are they explaining the rule to? Кому они объясняют правила? To the boy. Мальчику. So guys, what do you think about today's lesson? Please leave your comments or thoughts below this video. If you want more examples and more practice, just let me know and I'll be glad to help you with that. And that's it for today. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and see you next time. Пока!